It'll tell you if your XYZ switches are on or off, which is kind of nice to find out if your switch is working properly, give you more information about them, serial numbers, software numbers, things like that. See if your transfer case is in neutral or not. You can activate things here. This is kind of cool. You can turn on your, your gear indicators on the dash and on the center console. Um, you can turn the shift interlock on and off. That unlocks it so you can shift out of park. Um, go into our gauges here. This will basically turn on and off every single gauge you've got on the dash. It's kind of nice, uh, again, to verify if all your digits are working, if your lights are working, things like that. Makes all your gauges jump up and down, fuel gauge, temperature, things like that. A heated window, you can activate your heated window just to verify if it's working. External lighting, go through all these real quick. And again, I'm kind of just letting you guys see everything here. Tell you if your uh, lights are on or off, you know, gives you an idea that things are working in the computers. So if you have a computer telling you it's working and it's not working outside, you can go outside and start verifying bulbs, wiring, things like that. Um, here you can actually activate things, your daytime running lights, your fog lights, your courtesy lamps, you know, all this stuff. You can turn them on and off using the computer, not even touching the switches on your dash. Again, that's helpful because if you can turn it on with the computer, but it doesn't turn on with, say, the blinker switch, then you know the blinker switch has a problem. So you know to fix your blinker switch. Okay, here we are. Security. Component activation. Um, it turns on the alarm LED. It honks the horn. It'll, it'll run the locks up and down. It'll do the single point entry, it'll super lock your vehicle, and you can unlock your vehicle. Now, if somebody's stuck on super lock, this might unlock you. I'm not really sure because I haven't had that issue, but there's possibility this would unlock you. That would be helpful. Go down to the next thing, warning lights. This is all your dash lights. Turn them all on and off. Now, basically, this will tell you if they're on or off. And if you go into activation, it allows you to turn them on and off. Washers and wipers. Um, this allows you to run your wipers and washers and everything. Make sure they're all working, gives you the part numbers, all that. Same thing with windows and sunroofs. You can roll up your windows and sunroofs using the computer. So again, if you are not sure if the motor's working, you can run it here. If it goes up and down, then you know it's the switch or something else related um, that's not running it. But likely, if this runs it up and down, then you know that the relays are working because this basically turns on the relays up and down. So that would narrow it down to the switch or wiring to the switch. Ah, that's the run through. A um, couple other things if you want to keep watching. You can go in here, you can change your workshop information. So if you have a business and you want to put your information in this, every time you print out a piece of paper, it has this information at the top as a heading. You can change the language, and there are a number of languages you can choose from. So the software totally changes to all these different languages. I can't speak anything but English, so I'm stuck there. Um, once your hardware is connected, I don't have it plugged into the vehicle right now, but if it were plugged into the vehicle, it would show here the device is connected. You have to test it the first time in. It'll tell you if the firmware is updated or not. If it's not, you hit update. It takes about a minute. Updates the firmware and you're all ready to roll. Um, documents, application list that shows all the vehicles this software works on. Um, release news, system requirements, don't need any of that. Then it's kind of cool. Um, here's my two vehicles that I run it on. But you can go down to, let's go back to the main screen. Oops back to the main screen. Come on, main screen. I keep messing up, sorry. Um, if I click this button, I can read out the VIN number from the vehicle, or I can type it in manually and validate it. And that'll bring up the correct vehicle in your list up here. Uh, so that's a quick run through. And again, let's show you which version this is again. It's 2013 release three. They call it 2.13.3. Um, distributor information, that's if it was sold to you by somebody, and here's the version history. Alright, anyways, thanks for watching guys. Talk to you later.